I'm Jenna Bree, and this is your NBC 26 News Update. The Red Cross is begging Northeast Wisconsinites to roll up their sleeves and give blood, as we are currently in a nationwide shortage. The Red Cross needs to collect 14,000 units of blood daily to meet the demand. Not only that, the Red Cross also is facing a volunteer shortage. You can find information on becoming a Red Cross blood donor or volunteer on our website, NBC26.com. Experts are becoming more concerned with coronavirus impacting people under the age of 18. The Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction is now saying masks should be required in schools. In the last week, 236 teenagers between ages 14 and 17 were diagnosed with COVID-19. In that same time period, 272 kids between 9 and 13 were diagnosed and around 250 between ages 4 and 8. Children aged 3 and under fared slightly better with 179 cases reported. With those recommendations from the DPI, many are wondering what health experts have to say on kids wearing masks. One local expert we spoke with says not only can kids get sick with COVID, but masks will help keep kids safe in schools. Governor Tony Evers is handing Wisconsin hotels $70 million in federal coronavirus aid. The governor announced the move Monday. The grants, totaling as much as $2 million, are aimed at offsetting losses resulting from the pandemic. Happy Tuesday to you. I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. We had our first confirmed tornado into the county of Washera. This is on Sunday at about 3.55. It was rated an EF1 tornado. Here's a picture of it with some power flashes as well. That's what that pink lighting is as it rolled over and wiped out power. Now here in the Green Bay, yesterday we picked up just over a quarter an inch of rain. We are three quarters of an inch over now for the year and more headed our way. In fact, we have some strong severe storms. Could bring destructive winds as this afternoon.